What is up, people? We'll be playing Pierre Slayer today. Okay, there we go. Now it's not saying there's lag. Anyway, we'll be playing uh, Pierre Solaire. I only played a little bit of it, so pretty much I made it to the second area, past the tutorial and all that. So uh, we'll be doing that. For the record being, this is a long tutorial. I'll just let y'all read this if y'all are really into reading it. I'll give you about like a second per thing. Now, so pretty much the way I see this, this is like a uh, Final Fantasy strategy game kind of. Uh, beginning area of it, uh, our main goal right now is the uh, dad is dying pretty much from a disease that's like very deadly. To uh, cure it you have to get a plant that's guarded by some giant monster. The main point of this game is pretty much farming. Like, no joke, you have to freaking be like, I think it's level f 6 for the uh, boss that's guarding the plant to even be remotely like doable. I mean, he's killable before that, it's just the battle will go on for a long time. Yeah, and pretty much the, like, I'm not sure about what happens after you leave, like, this general area, because, spoiler alert, you do leave this general area, but, uh, that should have been obvious, because in any game that's RPG, you always leave your hometown if it's like this. Okay, so this happens? Yep. Anyway, uh, this tutorial, like, this area, I'll probably end it once we leave this town, uh, it's probably gonna be about 30 minutes, because most of this is just grinding. And for some reason, level ups are slow. By the way, I am just assuming here, um, I did read the, uh, story description, and from what I can tell, apparently, uh, like, you know, in the, uh, market for the Xbox, pretty much what I understand is, apparently your character's dad was, has some dark past or whatever, uh, best bet case scenario is he's, like, the smartest man in the world, <laughs> I, I kind of just want to hope for that, anyway, we're gonna meet this science kid. Edisit. Yes, look at his handsomeness. Oh, bathe in it. If you actually notice, like, whenever we go into a loading screen, you will see him eating a watermelon. I'm guessing he's the definition of pure and innocence? Or just general fabulousness? Like, his picture. It, it, he has the cheek outline. Like, really? It's like a perm blush. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to turn on the map.
Oh yeah, by the way, uh, safe spots are these little S's in the ground. Kind of like sewer manholes, I guess. Ah, uh, god dang it. Oh yeah, and for the record being, this is just a rich douche who's just, like so put into his work that you know, he does stuff. He founded this town on lies. All lies. Just like the cake. The cake is a lie. Okay. So. During, uh, like, my walkthrough of this, it's not really gonna even be a walkthrough. It'll just be, like, flat out going through it, but... I am going to probably go actual looting, just see if I can land some good gear. Oh god dang it, move lady. L lady okay, do I have to wait for you to get out? Like, I, I see a chest back there, I, I want it. Okay. Okay. Uh, lady, lady, gonna hurry up. One reason I have things against this. Okay, there we go. Okay, now then what is the, oh yeah. That was a specific way. I don't remember how to get that actually. I do know that there was like a really simple way of getting it. Okay, so go through it. There we go, yeah. Yeah, dude. So like the tree which doesn't show the boxes, so I guess it's meant to be like a mini challenge, but yeah. Not really challenging. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. We will get to the fighting part in a uh, little while, but uh, first we get all the small time loot. Okay, now we'll go out and do some actual like grinding for levels. That's not the right way. Okay. Oh, hey, I could have just held B and I can sprint. Okay, that's that's good to know. Okay. So... So pretty much just... Once you're here, just spin around. Wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on, what did I do? What did I not do yet? Don't you ever take no- oh, okay. Fine, god dang it. Hate it whenever they make you do extra stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Notebook. Let's go get weapons and talk to Edisit in his... L Why do we have to go to the lab? We have weapons. By my understanding, at least. Okay. We're at his lab. Okay. For the record being, I haven't done this in a while. Like, freaking... You, you guys saw the save file, but I don't think it had a date on it. I played this when it first came out and did the tutorial area, but I didn't actually, like, do anything past that. And I also haven't played the game since then. So, you know, if not a month, it's been close to a month or two. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, since I need weapons, I would just assume it would be that, but... Okay. Since clearly that's not it, let's go to the weapon store. Oh, 
Oh, oh, that's right. Wait, I, I don't think my guy has a weapon. Hold on, let me check, see who all has a weapon right now. Okay, so both of these two have weapons. I don't. I need a weapon. Okay, uh, if I remember right, there, there's two weapons in this town. Uh, there's one you can get for free. You could buy one also, but I mean, loot-wise. There are three. One is hidden away. I think one's in your house. I'm not positive on that, though. Okay, it was which one's my house? This one. Yep, right here. It's not a good weapon, but... I could level cities with this. Okay, anyway, I think now we can go to Reha for- Unless, of course, I need to fucking go back again. Do I? No, no, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, Make sure I've got it equipped. I not imagine how bad that would go. Not really bad, because low-level enemies. Anyway, this is pretty much like Pokemon. Walk back and forth a little bit. Enemy spawn. There's chests all around the map, like up there. And the enemies are creepy. Like, really, really creepy. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's just do auto attack. I'll demonstrate, like, actual fighting if we get to the boss fight soon. But, like, yeah. Also, as you can see, her bow is super effective on everything. I think it's probably because it's, like, the only real weapon my team has. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much, uh, point of this part, I've got to go into the cave. Again, be level 5. Like, no joke, you get fucked up. It's not even like light getting fucked up. You get... not really insta-killed. I mean, if you're under level 3, I could see that. But levels actually do matter in this game. Um, yeah, Paco Taco. Uh, this is worth 15 bucks. But I mean, like it depends if you'll play it. Uh, it's kind of like a Final Fantasy, honestly, is my closest similarity to it. The only thing that like I don't like, uh, like right now, I'm probably going to have to go to an inn and rest, and you have to do that repeatedly a lot to just keep on boosting for XP. And I mean, there does come a point you don't have to, because you can pretty much just insta-kill everything at a certain point and they can't hurt you if you've, like, you know, boosted enough. But, yeah. I mean, it depends how much time you'll put into boosting. I know, like, uh, I somehow got to the Oasis at, like, level 4 when I did it on uh, that save that y'all saw whenever I first started, and that went terrible. Like, the enemies there could two-hit kill me, I think it was, or three hit kill me, and there would be like seven enemies at once. So you you can see how that screws you over. Oh yeah, we have an advantage. Manual. Yeah. But, uh, Taco, actually, uh, if you, like, like games like this, you'll have fun with it. I mean, I can't really say it's a bad game. There we go. Okay. 
We got that. I earned one level. Oh yeah, Avocado Blast. <laughs> Best spell name ever. Anyway. Uh, hold on a sec. Also, before you exit the tutorial area, if you do get this, uh, probably a smart thing to do. Make sure you kept fighting. Like, you know, you did grind for not just levels, but also for gear. Because, uh, the weapons suck. Weapons are terrible. But, uh, freaking, uh, these guys, like, sometimes drop berries every now and then. And if you get to, like, level 4 or 5, you should be able to insta-kill them. Well, with that, the, uh, you know, you being able to insta-kill them, that gives you pretty much endless supply of berries. Berries actually heal you enough to where, you know, if you have 99 berries, you can just keep healing after every fight. So you don't really have to go to ends that often. Not saying you won't have to go to them, but, eh, you know, you won't have to go to them as much. Uh, God damn it, ladder. Also, though, before I go to fight that, uh, boss, I'm probably gonna have to head back to town after I'm... Think... You know what, I will do it at level 4. Like, head back to town at level 4. Yeah, no problem, Taco. Anyway, though, yeah. After level 4, I'll head back to town. And if these enemies don't drop better items, you can always buy better items. And that does help you out with the level up system quick. It's all about damage. Oh, why the hell did... Oh, yeah, by the way, there are mini-games to this game. Uh, if you go to Reha's farm, you can, uh... Oh, what's it called? Watermelon game. Go to a fountain, fill up your bucket of water, and then, uh, you just pretty much keep, uh, refilling it. You grow the watermelons, and whoever picks the most watermelons wins at the end. I I'd show it, but it's actually kind of like a... All in all, it'd be like five or four minutes. And, you know, that's just, like, extra stuff we don't really need. I just thought I'd put that out there, though, because uh, from the main menu, you can access minigames. And this game's actually up to four players if you're a uh, split-screen co-op. Not sure if it's Xbox Live, but I know it is split-screen co-op. It's not really even split-screen, it's just, you know, you're on one really flat screen. If I do remember right, there is a way to uh, change the texture between old and new, because this is an older game. But, don't quite remember what it was. Hold on, let me check that, actually. Options. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, what's the difference? Okay, yeah, I, I do see a difference. Okay, anyway. Let's just keep on walking, killing things. Oh, yeah, another thing. You might want to uh, stock up uh, the blonde kid with a bunch of stone slabs. Because he's like a ranged and a melee character. Melee doesn't do shit, just gonna say that now. But uh, pretty much though, ranged characters can hit everything. So, you know, that's pretty helpful considering, like, with just Dagger, you can't hit those flying guys, so you'd have to rely on the Bow Girl. Bow Girl dies, you're screwed. Anyway, yeah, I think, uh, starting from here on in, I'm probably just gonna be running back and forth. Uh, I won't be doing the, uh, manual fighting. I'll just be doing auto. Because that'll probably just make it go by a little bit faster. Okay, that beeping means that there's an item nearby, but that chest is locked. I don't get why it would beep near it. Anyway. Sorry, I just had to point that out. Oh yeah, Avocado Blast, the only spell this guy has at this level. But it's a giant avocado bomb! Yep. 
Insta kill. Insta kills anything. Why he didn't attack the flying thing, no one knows. Like, honestly, I don't like auto for certain reasons. What they just did right now is one of them. Every now and then it'll do, like, some stupid decision. That bow girl could have insta-killed that flying thing instead of him throwing his rocks at it pointlessly. They don't really think that through, though, so... Yeah. Guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so, yeah. I was just checking on their XP, see how long till they level up. Anyway. You do have to fight a lot, though. And I know, like, uh, when you're in the caves, like, you know, the place we're going right now, that place actually does have stronger enemies. Don't know if it's by a lot or not, because, again, haven't played in a while, but... You know, the boss is overpowered. Aside from that, though, it's pretty simple. You just grind, kill, grind, kill. Over and over. Actually, hold on. There, There is a gold item. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, it's right there. Was, was that locked? Did I already try it? Uh, I'll try it. Okay, that's the chest that requires the key. God dang it. I mean, if we look on the bright side, like, these things really can't hurt you all that much. But yeah. Like, I mean, if you notice, though, there was a huge health upgrade. I think I started off with, like, 100. One level up put me at, like, 200. Sorry about that, I, I just realized I tried slashing a flying thing and that does not work in this game. Okay, anyway, uh, I do think that I have enough money now, probably, to at least buy a good sword. 
more or less, I'm not really uh, worried, like concerned about uh, her bow or the uh, blonde kid's dagger because he's more or less just backup range character, and she already does tons of damage. But they'll still help when it comes to killing, like you know, flyers. If those two are just busy doing that while the uh, sword guy is able to kill everything on the ground. Okay, and, uh, after this, I will be, uh, heading back to the town, go to the shop really quick. See if there's any gear that I can get. Oh, why would it? won't throw it at that thing, so it's fine. Just still, bad call on my part. Okay, we're just gonna try to cut something that's flying, you know? Like you do. Okay, and as you can see, like, that just doubled my damage for every character. Now we're gonna see the armor person. Yes, because we have different armors for everyone. I was actually thinking for a second, uh, you know, Blondie doesn't really need the feather. Okay. I guess I could start making my way into the cave. Like, that probably wouldn't hurt anything. Why am I going this way? Okay, there we go.
By the way, this uh, game has really, like, sensitive touch, I guess I should call it. Really? Really? You, you saw it just necessary at that time to heal him. No, oh god. Using idiots. Why didn't I just click manual? Okay. Fire stab. See, like, she can just insta kill whatever the hell she wants to insta kill, and for some reason, this, uh, the main character can't do crap. Like, no joke. Can't do anything. But, I mean, I guess it's fine. Considering that he has out- that's probably why he has teammates now that I think about it. Cause like, when you actually like think about story-wise, the whole reason your guy needs help is because he's so weak. Okay, I think actually what it is, uh, they have a resistance to his attack. That might be it, because the spider didn't say a divided by, or a minus. And like, for the other characters, it's not saying that, so that's probably what it is. So, I tried running away, failed, and my characters just beat them all down senselessly. Seems legit. Yeah, I should probably heal them. You know, I honestly don't like how fast the enemies keep coming, but, nah, I guess it doesn't really matter.
Yeah, okay. Before I continue on with this area, I pro I'm gonna head back to the inn in the uh, town so that I can recharge my health. Because I'm out of health items, and yeah. You get the picture. Okay, and uh, by the way, once I'm done with uh, this general part right here, what most likely is going to happen, like, you know, with me going to the end, probably just going to come back here as fast as I can, and uh, run through the cave. Uh, before I head back here, though, I am going to stop by the uh, general store, get as many uh, berries for healing as I can. Because if I remember, I think there was a uh, healing save spot in the cave, but it might just be a save spot, like save only, and if it's not healing, yeah, you can see where that stands. Anyway, let's just get up this staircase. It's always right before you get to the door. Always. They, they don't just attack randomly. They're just like, eh, right before you get to the chest, eh, right before you get to the door. They're just trying to tell you that they want your company and don't want you to leave. That's all there is to it. Okay. Oh, alright. First I should rest in the end. Okay. Now, which building is the end again? Is it this one? Yes, 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 yes. Hey there, we just opened it so bit. Okay, so... Okay, so apparently I'm training.
Okay, so this is a bookstore, not the inn. Uh, yeah, okay. So the, pretty much it's just a tutorial. I didn't even know that because I haven't been in this building all that much. And again, haven't played this in a long time, so. I can use that excuse up to like 10 times, I think. Yeah, yeah. Anything stupid I do, that, that'll be my excuse. Anyway. Okay. Is this the... Oh, yeah, yeah, beds. Yeah. I would love to check in. Such a nice person. Okay. Let's see. Did you sleep? Oh, I did. You're so sweet. Okay. Let's just steal your stuff. Oh, you had caffeine pills. Damn druggy. Okay. So... We got that. Let's save really quick. Then we'll run up to the potions. Yes. All of these. Okay. Do y'all see that description? Now you can stone your friends? Ah, uh, that's beautiful. Anyway. Bye. I want at least ten. Just because. I will lose some major health out there. Okay. Okay, I think uh, they only ambush you when you're sprinting. When you're not sprinting, you every now and then will get an advantage. But at the same time, you're walking slower, so... In a way, that's good. In a way, that's bad, I guess. Because that means if you're trying to, like, speedrun this, clearly they get first hit. Okay, and uh, just to, like, check for that thing, to see if it's, like, you know, they only get the advantage if I'm sprinting. I am going to walk through the cave. Yep, okay, yeah. And you get the advantage, I guess, whenever you walk also, I guess, sometimes. I was checking, though, because it might be helpful considering these have more health than the other enemies we were fighting out in the forest. And they were doing like 6 damage out there, and 7 damage, now they're doing 7 and 8. And they can dodge! Oh no, the flying thing can dodge! Whatever shall we do? Let's stab it! L the yeah, yeah, stab it! Oh, didn't do it right. Oh! Broke its leg. Oh, what? I can't get that. Okay.
<laughs> Shit, it's poison. <laughs> That's also poison. Now, for the record, is all good games have it, just by some coincidence. The flower we're looking for is guarded by some giant monster that for some reason is in this really tiny cave. How it fit in here? No one knows. Why it fit in here? No one knows. Actually, it does have its own uh, background story it tries to explain, I guess you could say. Um, you'll see it once we get there. Uh, from what I can tell, though, pretty much it was supposed to be a guardian of some form. Didn't do a good job considering kids broke into its cave and murdered it, but it was a guardian at some point. And you know, I mean, it did let this place overrun with monsters, so... I guess, like, in its size, though, humans are the monsters, and... Well, we, we just murdered all of its friends. So, you know, there's that. Okay, I, I almost get the feeling the boss is around this way. Just because there's a safe zone. Okay. <coughs> well, guess we're gonna die. Yep. Yep, this is the boss fight. By the way, it's some really, like, grotesque monster, so... Just thought I'd give y'all a heads up. Yeah. I think it's a giant, like, is it a crab, I guess? Snail? Like, it looks different in every way you see it. First time it looks like a cocoon, second time it looks like a crab, and now it looks like a snail. It's a... snacoon. Yeah, I guess that kind of works. Anyway. Uh, first thing we should worry about. The little things all around it. and that are slowly advancing across the screen, because it can just keep spawning them. Oh yeah, yeah, and it can just keep spawning them. So yeah, probably should deal with them first. Yeah, and he does some major damage, by the way. I kind of like it when he's summoning them and not attacking, because his damage output is just crazy compared to the other things.
Yep, this is way was protecting. Pretty much this, uh, from what I can tell, is a fountain. Uh, why he was protecting it, don't know. By the way, as they just said, this has got to be ancient. But, if you ever notice... Well, you'll, you'll get the point in a second. Pretty much, she's going to sit here and stare at this and say that she's seen it before. The reason for that being... Someone from the village, perhaps? Coincidence? I think not. Nope, we got the earth. And he's doing his little strut. See, see, right there. Someone from the village. I'm telling y'all. So yeah, anyway, let's just head us it, it's over here, collecting rocks, and a book. Oh yeah, the, the journal that that monster was keeping. By the way, that monster has a diary, just thought I should tell you. It's a very manly thing of him to do, just, you know, write a diary about his crap life. I find myself coming here more often now. It's the only place where there's any peace for me. Every day it seems I'm caught in irrational arguments about the Goman. And it's driving me crazy. I don't think I'll be able to protect them much longer. The hate people have for them is simply too strong. I feel for my gardener. He spends more and more time hiding in his lair outside. He's terrified. It's a Goman. No idea. Anyway. <coughs> Now we're going to get out of the cave. Oh, oh, this is, this isn't actually, uh, like, I am going to probably end it here before we leave the town. Uh, because I think that took a lot of time, honestly. Just because I was boosting and stuff, and I was, uh, mainly just farming for gear. But yeah. <laughs> the statue. <laughs> it was probably that woman. The one in the green. Coincidence? I think not. No, it probably wasn't. That that's probably a really bad assumption actually, but eh. Probably someone else that they all know. And also probably you'll learn it further in the story. And yes, in all of these pictures pretty much everyone's blushing, except for him. And he's the one who's, like, ashamed of everything, so clearly he should be blushing. Cheeky bastard. Okay. Okay, so Edison's going home. By the way, for the record, that monster and that gardener, <laughs> they get a little bit intimate. That actually isn't a joke, by the way, you'll you'll know in the next episode, because uh, I'll be ending it once these uh, credits are done rolling. By the way, the reason the credits are up here, by the way, is to show we're done with the tutorial, the easy area.
So yeah, hope you all had fun watching, and, well, you know, credits. Roll the film. So yeah, I'll just sit here, play with some magnets maybe, while this is playing. And you guys have fun. Yep. Jeez, I actually forgot how long the credits are. Yeah, by the way, full credits. And this game was originated in... Uh, I'm not really sure, honestly. I've noticed that there's a, a lot of Japanese things in it, so I kind of want to say this originated in Japan, but I'm not positive. But yeah. Anyway, okay, we'll just watch this little family reunion. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. We murdered a giant fleshy crap thing. Okay, anyway. Well, no wait. I'll head to the save spot just because center of town and all. Okay. Anyway, this is where we in this little thing. And I hope you all watch the next episode. By the way, watermelon right there. Right there. Y'all saw it. He was just chomping on that watermelon. Okay. By the way, tile screen. I think I skipped out on it because uh, Twitch kind of like... When I first start broadcasting, if I start broadcasting with Twitch snapped, it uh, says it's lagging for like 10 seconds. That's why like this video might have started off like 10 seconds delay or whatever. But uh, yeah. So those of you who watched, hope you had fun. Uh, for those of you who watched the broadcast, hope you all had fun too. Especially you... Poco Taco. I'm I'm assuming that's nah nah. I don't think it's fishy here. You're too much of a taco to be fishy. Anyway, so hope you all had fun watching and see ya.